Hi, this is Laura Dickinson with the Social Justice Blog. I appreciated reading this article and understanding more about social justice. And as they defined it for counselors, social justice is empowering people to better stand for their needs. And then the second part of that, advocating with them for inequalities or injustices that they experience um, in their community at large. Um, I thought that was important to uh, define and understand uh, my personal golden rule for counseling is similar to the one that they gave where uh, a counselor would do unto others as they would have a counselor do unto them. And I do think adding on to that definition is having multicultural competence and understanding um, the people that you're counselor, counseling and about their cultural in order to not harm them or um, hurt them in any way. So a Bible verse that speaks to the way that we should live personally and as a professional counselor is Romans 12, 15 through 18. And that says, uh, let's see, rejoice with those who rejoice, weep with those who weep, live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Never be wise in your own sight. Repay no one evil for evil, but give thought to do what is honorable in the sight of all. If possible, so far as it depends on you, live peacefully with all. So a few principles that I took from this verse, just in my own words, um, are be there for others in happiness or sadness. Live in harmony. Uh, associate with those who have less than you do. Be humble. Do not repay evil for evil. Be honorable. Um, live peacefully with all. Um, so uh, the action statement that I'm willing to take towards social justice is just becoming more aware of social justice and expanding my knowledge in that way. I kind of thought of three of my friends who work with this topic in their professional careers. Um, one is a lawyer who works with children um, whose parents have gone to jail and she does advocacy for them um, and their needs and rights. The other one is a doctor who's a friend of mine who works just with the elderly community. Um, and then another is a friend who's a social worker who does counseling as well. And I thought one way for me to become more aware is to just initiate a conversation with each of them and learn what areas of social injustice they see in their fields and um, from there as I become passionate about one area I would like to get involved with advocacy. So thank you for listening to my blog.